Hey friends, today I'm gonna to be doing the Guilty Confessions tagged. I was tagged by Bubs Beauty and Bubby actually created this tag. So thank you so much Bubs for tagging me. And I'll link her video below. Her answers were really funny. So the very first question is, what is your guilty pleasure? I think my guilty pleasure is soda. Like it's so weird because I never liked drinking soda before I got pregnant, but I am like so, addicted to coke and sprite now and i don't know i just love it question number two share something you did a long time ago that you're still ashamed of oh my goodness so one time i told my parents that i had like a science project and i needed them to buy flour because my mom doesn't like bake or ever use flour so we never have flour in the house so i got them to buy me flour but i didn't really have a science project the reason why i wanted them to buy flour was so i can make my own play-doh <laughs> I know I felt really bad. Yeah, so that's one shameful thing But there's so many like stupid little things that I did when I was young share one bad habit you have uh, <laughs> I have so many bad habits. I think the main one would be like I love flowers and so like Typically, I will buy new flowers once a week, but I like to, to keep my flowers as long as possible and the bad habit that I have is I keep them until they're like ugly they're dying and they smell like disgusting and that's such a disgusting habit because like i just love flowers so much that i don't want to get rid of it reveal one lie you've told big or small i think this is a pretty big one but um my stepdad didn't like the fact that i was like his step daughter or not his like biological daughter so when i would go to school like um you know like when you would register for school every single year like when you go to first grade or second he would make me like check in the box that he was my father not my stepfather and he like would make me erase it and i would i thought that that was such a big lie because it's like you're not you're like biologically he's my stepfather so like throughout like my elementary school years we were just claiming him as like my my dad like my father but not my stepfather and i just thought that was just a huge lie and i just i didn't like that and i didn't like the fact that i got in trouble for putting in the real the truth and then he made me erase it and it was just a hot mess, but I didn't like that. What is one silly thing you got upset or angry over? Okay, so I am a towel hoarder. I love just collecting and keeping towels, even if they're old, even if they have holes on it, even if they're stained with like hair dye or something, I will keep my towels. And my husband doesn't feel the same way. He, he likes to get rid of them or he w wishes he could. <laughs> But um, I guess the thing that I get angry about is like, I don't want to get rid of my towel, so I refuse to. And I guess that's what I get angry about my towels. I'm not going to get rid of them. Something you're really bad at, dancing. I honestly wish I knew how to dance. I mean, I took dancing classes in like high school, but I was always like that awkward person. Like, and my husband and I actually took like ballroom dancing together before we got married so that we can like dance during our wedding and stuff. And I was told by the instructor that I dance like a pony or a horse or something like my legs are like I just don't have rhythm I I can't dance and I wish I could share something you preach but never do okay so I actually used to do this um, I used to drink a glowing green smoothie every single day I did it for like a year but lately I haven't been doing that like sometimes I will I'll have it at least once a week but it's not something that I do on an everyday basis anymore so I feel really bad about that but um, oh well have you ever stolen before if so what yes sadly um, <laughs> my cousin and I we were very young and we were at this store called Alpha Beta do you guys remember Alpha Beta then turned into Albertsons and um, there was like I don't know like a, um, a cute band-aid like it had characters on it I can't even remember which character but I'm just gonna say Little Mermaid or some kind of character and I remember I was wearing like overalls that had pocket on me and um, we, we opened up the box and took one of the band-aids and I put it in my um my overalls and i feel really bad and the fact that i still remember i don't even know how old i was i was like probably like five or something but i felt so bad reveal one act of revenge honestly i don't really believe in revenge or like i don't know i love that show though do you guys watch that show revenge so i have no stories to share about revenge but i think honestly the best 
revenge is just focusing on your life and focusing on yourself and doing well because like people who like don't like you or hate you or hate on you and stuff they're just mad and the biggest revenge is just doing well for yourself so i don't know i think that's just my answer because i have no like I have no answer for it. Name somebody you used to envy. It was in high school I used to envy, you know, the girls who were uh, they, who were well off because I didn't come from a well off family. I didn't really get, you know, new cars and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, like now as an adult, I feel so stupid, you know, you know, wanting to be like them because like sometimes people who have that sense of entitlement or get everything handed to them don't work as hard or feel like they deserve things instead of working for it and coming from you know a a poorer family or a family that where I didn't get everything I wanted, it helped me realize the value of a dollar. And I have worked my ass off since I was like 15. I was working, I was working at Chuck E. Cheese, I was cleaning urinals, I was doing toilets. I've had poop splash on me when I cleaned toilets. So um, I don't envy those people anymore because I worked so hard and I still continue to work hard and no, I don't envy them. <laughs> the last question is mischievous thing you did in your childhood. I loved like melted chocolate. I like I didn't like it cold. So I would one time I freaking put the foil chocolate in the microwave and the microwave went boom. And at at that age, I honestly didn't understand why it did that. Like but I never did it again. And I did that when my parents like went somewhere. I think they went like to the grocery store. I was around eight and I was so scared, but thankfully I did not burn our place down. <laughs> So those are my answers. Thank you so much, Bubby, for tagging me. I had so much fun and I love tags. So again, I'll link Bub's video in the info box. And please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. And I happily invite you to do this tag too. Just do it and then tweet me if you did it. And I would love to watch. It's so fun. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. And the brush that I like to use is a flat top fluffy brush or a flat top kabuki type of brush and this is my bubby brush and bub's beauty she has really good brushes so i definitely recommend her brushes as well um so both of these together is heavenly